Hey y'all, welcome to Epic Train Journeys. This is episode 2 of a journey on board the Mangalore to Jaipur Express. So we are pulling into Subramanya Road Station, delayed by about 15 minutes. That was scary. Our train will get banker locomotives from here. Those could be our banker locomotives. There's another pair here. So for freight trains traversing the guard section, these cabooses are detached here. Since banker locomotives are attached. Look at the crowd waiting to board this train here. You just look at the crowd there. Bought a plate of veg pulao at Subramanya Road. Cost me 40 rupees as usual. This is how it looks. I've had this before, so I know how it tastes. It'll be as usual delicious. So if you're traveling through Subramanya Road, then you can pick this up for 40 rupees. Or even curd rice. I think that costs 40 as well. Or some other snacks like samosas and madhu vadas. So we've been halted here for the past 30 minutes. I think there's a crossing. Yeah, you can see a freighter entering the station. So like I said earlier, these cabooses are not allowed in the guard section with trains that are heading uphill since banker locomotives are attached at the rear of the train. And when these banker locomotives push the train, a loaded freight train up the guards, the forces exerted on these cabooses are extreme and they cannot withstand those forces. They're prone to derailment. That's the reason these cabooses are detached at Subramanya Road and a small train is formed and then these cabooses are ferried independently to Sakleshpur. Then they are attached to freight trains from there. Here comes a freight train. So since this is a downhill freighter, it has breaker locomotives instead of banker engines. So the first two WDG4s were the breaker engines and the trailing WDG4s were the main locomotives. So we finally depart from Subramanya Road at 6 p.m. This is a tower car used for OHG maintenance. And a plaster track machine. We 
entering the guard section now. Unfortunately, the sun has already set. So we won't be getting a lot of visuals in the cart. Maximum speed is restricted to 30 kmph in the guard section and all locomotives are equipped with AEB or auto emergency brake. So whenever the train crosses 30 kmph, brakes are slammed on automatically. Those are the mountains that we'll be climbing to reach Sakleshpur. This is the first tunnel from Mangalore side. I won't be covering much of this guard section since it's getting dark. And I've done a couple of detailed videos of this guard section anyway. You can watch those videos on my channel. One of those videos was shot during the peak monsoon season. So there's plenty of greenery and rain around. the first crossing station in the guard section. So this is Shri Bagilu station, it's a crossing station in the Ghats. After this there is Yadakumeri, Kadgaravalli and Donigal. Those are the crossing stations in the Ghats section. There is also an abandoned crossing station that's called Harebetta. Crossing 
काटगरवली स्टेशन That's the Bangalore Mangalore National Highway. So we are entering Donigal Station, which is the last Ghat station. The Ghat section officially ends here, although the Bangalore locomotives will continue up to Sakleshpur. Sakleshpur is not far from here. It will take another 5 to 10 minutes to reach Sakleshpur. So you all are enjoying the track sounds. We are pulling into Sakleshpur at 8.5, just about 10 minutes behind schedule. You can see a caboose train here as well. So these were the cabooses which were detached from freight trains heading up the guards at Subramanya Road and were So we've departed from Sakleshpur. I bought a plate of idlis for 40 rupees. So this is the plate of idlis. We are about to reach Hassan Junction. It's so cold outside. Hassan is a major city on the Bangalore Bangalore National Highway. So if you are taking the NH75, then Hassan is kind of like the midpoint between Mangalore and Bangalore. The city also boasts of the largest KSRTC bus stand in Karnataka, excluding Majestic in Bangalore. That is a different beast altogether, since it includes the BMTC terminus as well. We are already entering the platform, so it looks like the turnouts here have been updated for 30 kmph. That's the national highway.
huge crowd waiting for this train here as well. So that's the rake of the recently downgraded Yashwanpur Hassan Superfast Intercity. It used to run with LHB rakes but has now been downgraded and runs with ICF rakes. We are yet to be cleared to depart from Hassan. It's been kind of a long halt here as well. We're running late by around 30 minutes now. Well, the reason for this long halt is that the Mysore Arsigere passenger has departed just ahead of us. We have to clear the block section ahead. So it's going to take a few more minutes for us to be clear to depart. And we depart at 9.20. So, Hassan Junction has lines coming in from Mangalore, Mysore, Bangalore via Shravanabel Gola and the line that we are heading on right now that's towards Arsikere and Hubli. So that was Hassan Junction. We are approaching our cigarette. Those are the main lines from Bangalore. Mysore Arsigere passenger just after Hassan. I think it was at Bageshpura. We reached Arsigere with a delay of around 30 minutes. It will be covered by the time we reach Ubi. complicated with a lot of rake sharing arrangements. The way that train entered into the platform was just amazing. It looks like some passenger train. It looks like the Shimoga town bound passenger. That train is in fact the Bangalore or CKD passenger. I dozed off as soon as we departed from our Sikere and woke up to see the train entering Chikjajur Junction at 11.55 pm. Chikjajur Junction is where the lines from Chitradurga meet the Hubli Bangalore main lines. We had two scheduled halts between our Sikere Junction and Chikjajur Junction, one at Kadur Junction and the other at Birur Junction. The single line towards Chikmagluru diverges from the Hubli Bangalore main line at Kadur Junction and the single line towards Shiomoka diverges from the main line at Birur Junction. 
We depart from Chikjaju Junction after a scheduled halt at 11.58 p.m. Look how quickly the WDP 4D accelerates with a short 16 coach rake. The next time I woke up, we were entering Rani Benur station at 1.11 am. The time is 2.40 in the morning and we are about to reach Hubli. We are skipping Kundgold right now. So we have reached Hubli almost on time. This is the longest platform of Hubli. In fact, it's the longest platform in the world. I'll be ending my journey at Hubli. I'll be boarding some other train from Hubli. So that will be the next video. So yeah folks, welcome to Hobli. So this is platform 1 of Obli Junction. It has these beautiful wall murals. Thanks for watching this video guys, I'll see you in the next one, until then, goodbye.